Welcome to Children Pay Children. Have you ever faced with a challenge which you can't seem to overcome on your own? Our story today is about a little mouse with a huge dream called "How to Reach the Moon." We highly recommend you to have a copy in hand to read along with us. Please subscribe to our channel for more educational videos and read-alouds. Let's go. How to Reach the Moon, written by Stephanie Moss, illustrated by Kristen Humphrey, and published by Igloo Books. Mouse wondered why, as she stared at the sky. I can't reach the moon. Is it really that high? She pointed her toes, and she stretched really tall. But she still couldn't reach it, for she was too small. So she tiptoed that night, in the magic moonlight, in search of a friend who could reach the right height. <laughs> I'll help you," said Rooster. The hands were all too. What is it you need? Tell us what to do. Mao said, "See up there." And they all stopped and stared. They said, "You want us to fly all the way? Where?" Their wings went flap, flap. How their soft feathers flew! They spluttered and squawked. None of us can help you. So she skipped and she stepped, and she finally crept. Into the forest where Sleepy Sloth slept. Can you reach the moon? She asked. You climb all day. Sloth tried, but he yawned. <sighs> It's just too far away. Then Mouse yelled, "Yippee!" Because what did she see? A long pair of legs reaching tall as a tree. Flamingo said. Outer space does sound like fun, but I will show you it just can't be done. The next plan went wrong, for although it was long, poor giraffe's neck simply wasn't that strong. Then, in the distance, Mouse saw an old friend. Surely her mission had come to an end. Wow. What a treat that we old friends should meet," Mouse said. "My search for this task is complete." So Elephant leaped, and she sprang, and she soared, but then she collapsed in a heap on the floor. Mouse scratched her head. "It's not over," she said. She thought of her friends, and she sat up in bed. I've got a new plan," she wrote. "Come to my house. I know what to do this time. Lots of love, Mouse." A crowd soon appeared with more volunteers. "Let's make a tower," said Mouse, and they cheered. At first, they all wibbled and wobbled around. Then, with a crash, they fell down to the ground. They worked side by side, and the harder they tried, the stronger their tower grew. Made it! They cried. They feasted beneath all the twinkling stars, with friends like you, Mao said. The moon's not so far. The End.